Have you had pain in your lower back that's been there for quite some time? You've tried various other treatments, including physiotherapy, but nothing seems to be working and you've been putting up with this for months or even years. Today, we're going to be exploring another type of treatment called multifidus muscle stimulation. It's a fairly new treatment and we're going to discuss how it works and I'm going to give you my overall thoughts on it as a spinal neurosurgeon. Back pain is complex. There's often not a true anatomical cause for the pain, especially in patients who've been suffering with back pain that's been going on for many months and years. Sure, MRI scans may show wear and tear changes in the discs, the joints of the spine, but these are very common findings in patients who do not have back pain. Whilst the onset of your back pain may have been anatomical, for example, a tear in a muscle or a disc, research has suggested that chronically we develop impairment or dysfunction of the control of a very important muscle in our spine, the multifidus muscle. So what exactly is multifidus? Well, it's a group of muscles that connect segments of the spine together and contract to control stability of the spine. So it is an important muscle in maintaining general stability. When we develop chronic pain, we don't quite fully understand the mechanism or why, but perhaps we become guarded in the way we use this muscle. We don't contract it properly. And then you can generate secondary instability of your spine and chronic pain. So let's explain multifidus muscle stimulation. How does it work? It involves a special type of battery pack, if you will, that's surgically placed under the skin through quite a small wound. And then you have these wires here that stimulate these nerve endings that innervate the multifidus muscle, causing periodic contraction of the muscles. This program stimulation or contraction of these muscles helps them grow and strengthen. This study looked at 204 patients who had this device implanted. It followed them up for two years, and it showed that approximately 76% of patients had an improvement of above 50% in their overall pain. So where does this fit into treatment? Well, provided your imaging has excluded any true anatomical instability of the spine, such as a spondylolisthesis demonstrated here where one bone has fully slipped forward over another bone, or if we've excluded nerve compression and you have tried other methods of treatment, such as physiotherapy, it may be something that will benefit you. Of course, imaging can be useful to help demonstrate um, if there's any wasting or shrinking of the multifidus muscles, and the clinical assessment is also very important too. In terms of risks, the main ones reported are infection, so having any foreign body implanted in you, there's a risk of bacteria or infection around it, and also the leads, the cables migrating, moving from the position you implanted them in, and therefore having to remove the device altogether. So in conclusion, back pain itself, as mentioned earlier, is very complex and there are multiple factors, not just anatomical, but also behavioral and functional that we have to try and figure out when we assess you. If we've excluded a true surgical target, such as uh, an instability segment or nerve compression, you've got wasting of the multifidus muscles on your MRI scan and clinically is the most important bit. Clinically, during the clinical history and examination, it will fit. It may be of benefit to you. It's still a relatively new treatment. We do need long-term data for it to be absolutely sure. And ultimately, it should be part of a bigger picture. It is not a sole treatment, but only part of a multidisciplinary approach, which is what I believe in. I really hope you found this video helpful. If so, please click that like button and do subscribe to the channel. Also, please visit us at spinemdt.com to see how we can help you. Thank you very much for watching.